Want to speak real Portuguese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at portuguesepod101.com. Oi, gente, tudo bom? Paloma here. Welcome to top 10 ways to remember words. Eu aprendo sobre as raízes das palavras e como palavras diferentes são relacionadas umas com as outras. I learn about the roots of words and how different words are related to each other. É mais fácil de lembrar as palavras quando você sabe as raízes delas. It's easier to remember words when you know the roots. So you can relate some verbs with now, for example, correr, to run, and corrida, running. Also, fight, luta, with fighting, lutar. Eu categorizo novas palavras com outras palavras relacionadas que eu já conheço. I categorize new words with other related words that I already know. I think, for example, you could categorize all words that are related to home. Lar, casa, casão, casarão, casinha. There would be different ways to say home or house in Portuguese. Eu costumo assistir TV ou vídeos no YouTube que são feitos para crianças pequenas. I often watch TV or YouTube videos that are designed for young children. One of my favorite shows when I was little would be... Castelo Hachimbun, Hachimbun Castle. Another one that was my favorite was Cocoricó. Cocoricó is the sound that the rooster do. Cocoricó! Eu procurei alguns vídeos infantis no YouTube para aprender português. I searched for some kids' videos on YouTube to learn Portuguese. Eu escuto músicas e memorizo as letras. I listen to songs and memorize the lyrics. This is a very nice technique because usually you like the song you're learning, so it's easier to learn. That was one of the ways I learned English. Eu baixei várias músicas brasileiras para aprender português. I downloaded many Brazilian songs to learn Portuguese. Eu falo as palavras em voz alta para que eu possa ouvi-las. I say words out loud so that I can actually hear them. One thing is to understand the language and the other thing is to be able to speak and communicate in the language. If you don't try to speak it out loud, you will never know if you can communicate and speak in the language. So, you gotta try and don't be ashamed. Não tenha vergonha. Just try to speak it. Eu falo tudo errado, mas eu tento falar em português. I say it all wrong, but I try to speak in Portuguese. Eu falo o máximo possível com falantes nativos. I speak as often as possible with native speakers. If you're speaking with native speakers, there's no way you won't learn the language or the words that you want to remember. Because if you don't say the correct words, they will help you and try to correct you. That's very nice to have people that speak the language to motivate you too. Eu tenho vários amigos brasileiros que me ajudam com meu português. I have many Brazilian friends that help me with my Portuguese. Eu tento pensar em português, porque daí se torna natural para o meu processo de pensamento. I try to think in Portuguese, so it becomes natural to my thought process. One of the things that I noticed when I was learning English is that if you don't think in the language you're speaking, your brain has to do so many translations that you won't be able to become fluent in that language. So try to think little by little in the language you're learning, that it will help you a lot. Quando eu estou pensando em português, eu não consigo pensar em inglês. When I'm thinking in Portuguese, I can't think in English. Eu tento usar a língua repetidamente no contexto da vida cotidiana. I try to use the language routinely in the context of daily life. You can call little things in Portuguese in your house, like nouns, for example, spoon, colher, fork, garfo. You can also use your dog for talking to him in Portuguese and teach him some tricks in Portuguese. A minha professora de inglês só falava em inglês com o gato dela. My English teacher only spoke in English with her cat. That's true. Eu uso a repetição. Ler, escrever e falar as palavras várias vezes. I use repetition. Reading, writing and speaking words over and over again. You know that commercial that is on TV and it's like every 10 minutes the commercial is there again on your TV? There's no way you will forget that commercial, right? You gotta do the same with words. You just say that word again and again and again and there will be no way you forget it. Eu precisava decorar uma frase em português e fiquei falando ela o dia inteiro. I needed to memorize a phrase in Portuguese, so I spoke it all day long. 
ler o máximo possível. Especialmente o jornal me ajuda a lembrar as palavras. Reading as much as possible, especially the newspaper, helps me to remember words. Newspaper is kind of advanced Portuguese because you won't find easy conversational words, they will be more formal and business words. But if you're already in that level, yeah, that would be a great help for you to read newspaper. Nowadays you can find newspaper online and also on YouTube there are many news channels. So that's a very good way to memorize and remember everyday words. Eu leio o jornal todos os dias para aprender palavras de economia. I read the newspaper every day to learn economy words. O fim, the end. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time. Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids. Words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start learning more every day. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. 
In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speak real Portuguese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at portuguesepod101.com. You've decided to study a new language. So now what? Well, you want to become fluent fast, right? Here are the top five shortcuts to learning a language. Number one, create a study schedule and set some goals. Many language learners are unorganized. Creating a schedule allows you to free up time to study consistently. Goals give you motivation and something to strive for. Number two, make it fun. If you learn how to make your study time enjoyable, chances are you'll be more inclined to study. Watch a TV show with subtitles or listen to some music. Number three, find a language partner. This is the best way to improve your conversation skills. It will help you gain fluency even faster and increase confidence when speaking. Number four, use word lists to build up a solid vocabulary. This is a great way to build up your fluency, one word at a time. Luckily, we have all the word lists you need with a range of topics from food to love. Choose whichever language you want to study and go. Number five, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Nothing helps you improve more than correcting your own errors. You're more likely to remember it correctly the next time around. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't be afraid to learn from them. There's no magical way to learn a new language overnight, but doing all of these can really help your learning process. And remember, if you're interested in getting on the fast track to fluency, sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. Start learning now. Hello everyone, this is Jade Furuta and welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words. Today's theme is hobbies. Mm, nice one. Dançar, to dance. Actually, that is really my hobby. I love to dance. I love reggaeton, actually, it's my favorite. I can also dance samba, of course. And I love all kinds of Latino dance. Eu amo dançar. I love to dance. Desenhar. To draw. Quando eu era criança, eu adorava desenhar. When I was a kid, I used to love to draw. I used to draw all the time, like objects, people, dresses. I wanted to be a fashion designer. I should probably start drawing again. Violão. Uh, violão means guitar. <laughs> Eu costumava 
tocar violão. Eu costumava tocar violão. I used to play the guitar when I was um, in junior high school. It's hard to play the guitar when you <laughs> when you have nails like this. It was a battle between me and the teacher. So yeah, I used to run away, hide after school all the time, so I I didn't have to go to the classes. Jogar poker, to play poker. Eu não sei jogar poker. I don't know how to play poker. I know poker face. <laughs> yeah, I know the song. <laughs> Navegar na internet. Surf the net. Navegar na internet. We can say navegar na internet and we can also say surfar na internet. To surf the internet. Eu sou viciada em navegar na internet. I'm addicted to surfing the internet. Acabou the end. Obrigada por assistir. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Ciao. Oi gente, tudo bem? This is Jade Furuta and welcome to another Portuguese Weekly Words. And today's theme will be studying a language, which is what we are doing right now. Repetir. Repetir. Repeat. But when you make a phrase, you would say, repita, repita, por favor, please repeat. Verbo, verbo, verb. Repita o verbo dançar. Repita o verbo dançar. Repeat the verb to dance. Aprender, learn. É muito bom para você Aprender coisas novas. É muito bom para você aprender coisas novas. It's very good for you to learn new things. Língua, language. That also means tongue. Língua also means tongue. Eu sei falar cinco linguagens. Eu sei falar cinco linguagens. I can speak five languages. Ler, read. Eu comecei a ler mais esse ano. Eu comecei a ler mais esse ano. I have started to read more this year. Acabou! The end! Obrigada por assistir. Thank you for watching. Um beijo. Até mais. Tchau, tchau. Oi, gente! Tudo bem? This is Jade Furuta and welcome to another Portuguese Weekly Words. Today's theme is... Life events! Yay! This sounds exciting! Nascimento! Nascimento! Birth! O nascimento de uma criança é um milagre. O nascimento de uma criança é um milagre. A child's birth is a miracle. Aniversário! Birthday! O meu aniversário é dia 16 de dezembro. O meu aniversário é dia 16 de dezembro. My birthday is December 16th. Casamento. Wedding. Que cerimônia de casamento linda. Que cerimônia de casamento linda. What a beautiful wedding ceremony. Se aposentar. Se aposentar. To retire. Quando você vai se aposentar? Quando você vai se aposentar? When are you gonna retire? Morrer. To die. Eu vou morrer de rir com esse filme. I'm gonna die of laughing with this movie. Acabou! The end. Thank you for watching and até a semana que vem. See you next week. Beijo! Tchau! Want to speak real Portuguese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at portuguesepod101.com E aí, gente, joinha? How are you? I'm Paloma. Eu sou a Paloma. Welcome to another Top Portuguese Words. Today's topic is Top 10 Most Common Tourist Vocabulary. Are you ready for traveling? Você está pronto para viajar? Let's do it! Passagem Ticket Passagem, ticket. 
Precisamos comprar as passagens de ônibus para a viagem. We need to buy the bus tickets for the trip. Precisamos comprar as passagens de ônibus para a viagem. Passagens usually referring to a bus or a train ticket. And if you're talking about an entrance ticket, we say entrada. Turista. Tourist. Turista. Tourist. Turista. Essa praia é a preferida dos turistas. This beach is tourist's favorite one. Although turista ends in A, you can use it both for male and female. O turista and a turista. Guia de viagem. Guidebook. Guia de viagem. Guidebook. É melhor comprar um guia de viagem para escolher os lugares que você quer visitar. It's better to buy a guidebook to choose the places you want to visit. É melhor comprar um guia de viagem para escolher os lugares que você quer visitar. If you don't want to buy a guidebook, you can also search on the internet and find the places you want to go visit. But it's always good to have it written down, so in case you get lost, you can just ask someone and you have it written so the person can also read it in case they need. Templo. Temple. Templo. Temple. Este templo é belíssimo. This temple is beautiful. Don't confuse templo with tempo. Templo is temple and tempo is weather or time. Temos tempo para ir no templo? Do we have time to go to the temple? Mesquita. Mosque. Mesquita. Mosque. Mesquita. Hoje vamos visitar a Mesquita do Brás. Quer ir com a gente? Today we are going to visit Brás Mosque. Would you like to come with us? We don't have many mosques in Brazil, but yes, we have a few if you want to visit. And also Mesquita is a common surname in Brazil. Igreja. Church. Igreja. Church. Escolhi um roteiro para conhecermos as igrejas de Ouro Preto. I chose a tour for us to visit Ouro Preto's churches. Ouro Preto is a city in Minas Gerais state and it's very famous for its colonial churches and historical buildings. Also, it's very nice to go there during carnival season. Cachoeira. Waterfall. Cachoeira. Waterfall. É uma delícia tomar banho de cachoeira. Você tem que ir com a gente. It's delightful to take a natural shower at the waterfall. You have to come with us. I think you can find waterfalls almost everywhere in Brazil. In São Paulo state we have a lot of waterfalls, also minas. Yeah, so many states. <laughs> and it's very common to tomar banho de cachoeira. That means to shower at the waterfall. But actually means to swim at the waterfall. Excursão. Tour. Excursão. Tour. Você também vai na excursão para Paraty? Are you going to the tour to Paraty too? Você também vai na excursão para Paraty? Excursão can be a sightseeing tour and it can also be a school tour. You know, uma excursão para o museu, a tour to the museum while you're at school. And Paraty is a very nice city in Rio State that is very worth visiting. Guia. Guide. Guia. Guia. Já sei falar bem português. Não vou precisar de guia quando visitar o Brasil. I already speak Portuguese well. I won't need a guide when I visit Brazil. That would be so awesome if you're able to say that. But if you don't, don't worry. You can just say, Eu preciso de um guia em inglês. I need an English guide. Ônibus turístico. Tour bus. Ônibus turístico. Tour bus. Ônibus turístico. Vamos fazer um passeio com este ônibus turístico? Ele já tem um percurso planejado e vamos visitar vários lugares legais. Shall we take this tour bus? They already have a planned route and we'll visit many nice places. 
Some cities like Curitiba have also the city tour bus that you can use to visit the most special places in the city. For example, if you go to Curitiba, you can't miss Opera de Arame and Jardim Botânico, besides many other nice parks they have in there. Acabou! The end! Thanks a lot for watching and let us know in the comments the words you already know in Portuguese for traveling and the words you don't know and want to learn. Até a próxima! Tchau, tchau! Hi everyone! Paloma here! Welcome to top 10 hardest words to pronounce in Portuguese. Avó, grandmother. Here you need to hear the sound of the last O in the syllable. It should be a, an open O as we say in Portuguese. Avó. A minha avó faz um bolo delicioso. My grandmother makes a delicious cake. Avô. Grandfather. Can you hear the difference between avó and avô? Here you have a closed O. Avô. Meu avô era um inventor. My grandfather was an inventor. Cachorro. Dog. Here may find the CH, show, and the double R, ho, a little different for you. O nome do meu cachorro é Toy. The name of my dog is Toy. Coração. Heart. This word may be hard for you because of the RA, RA, and the CAO, SÃO. A minha almofada tem formato de coração. My pillow is heart shaped. Mãe. Mother. Here you also have a nasal sound. Mãe. A minha mãe está brava comigo. My mother is angry at me. You can also say mamãe, which is mommy in English. Mão, hands. Also here we have a nasal sound. Mão. Remember to use your nose to say these words. A minha mão tem cinco dedos. My hand has five fingers. Mulher, woman. Mulher has this lhe, which is L-H. It's not that hard, right? Mulher. Onde fica o banheiro das mulheres? Where is the women's bathroom? Orelhão. Payphone. I love this word in Portuguese because orelhão is big ear. And because Brazilians' payphones look like big ears here. Eu não consigo encontrar um orelhão. I can't find a payphone. Yeah, everyone has cell phone today. Quarteirão. Block. So here you also have this nasal sound. And the R, quar. It's not hard, but you need to practice that to, you know, be more fluent. But if you use the caipira accent, it would be quarteiro, which is easier for English speakers. There's also a McDonald's burger that is called quarteiro. It's really big. Trabalho, job. So also you have the R and the LH here, trabalho. You can also use the word trabalho to mean job and work. Eu gosto muito do meu trabalho. I really like my job. Or, eu tenho muito trabalho hoje. I have a lot of work today. The end, fim, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to subscribe to our website and our videos. See you next time. Tchau, tchau.